profunde. Yes. Hey, hello. Welcome to the second um, Muay Thai shadow boxing live stream. Mm. Um, let's start with an easy warming up. Um, then I will do some techniques. Um, yeah. And um, very important for me, um, last time I got um, kind of around 20 messages over Facebook and Instagram. And it's very good to get a feedback from you. So if you have any questions or any requests, just um, send me a message. Okay, let's start with warming up. Start to move easy. Nice and easy on your foot. When you do shadow boxing, it's quite important that you be sure that you're not stepping on anything. That you're not accidentally kicking or punching somebody or I don't know, your TV or whatever. Okay, increase a little bit the speed. A bit higher pace. Try to put the foot, the feet um, silently on the ground. Okay, don't do it like to make your neighbors very unhappy. And it's also not good. So move a little bit faster and take your arms, take your arms with you. Take your knees a little bit higher and then increase the pace. And faster. And relax. Keep moving. And hands to the other side. Hands to the outside. Okay, let's make it a little bit more difficult. One hand to the inside, other hand to the outside. And change the direction. Okay. Take your arms, lift your arms. Just a little bit higher, a little bit faster. And faster. And easy. Okay, and just move the upper body. Circle with the upper body. And change direction. Okay. Okay, now I'll circle the hip. Yes. Okay. 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 Um. This is the right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side. Bring one ear to your shoulder. 
I look down to my right foot, left up, right down, left up, right down, left up. And other side. I look to my left foot. Okay. Taking my hands up. I like to take my hands up on the level of my eyebrow. Because the Muay Thai will have a guard a little bit higher because there are elbows coming and also kicks. In boxing, it's totally fine to having the hands like this. But in Muay Thai, because of the elbows and of the, because of the kicks, it makes more sense to have the guard a little bit higher. But I want to have my elbows still pointing down, not to the side, still pointing down and hands up. So we're still at warming up. My back foot goes from here, back again. One big circle, pop. And all the time, I want to keep my hands up. Stay in balance, big circles with the black leg. Let's do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, change side. Uh, I'm changing my stance. So my back leg goes from the inside, do one big circle, and I'm placing the foot where it started. Hands staying up, try to stay in balance, and 10 times, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, start moving again. Uh. I have my guard up, elbows pointing down. Uh, when I'm outside the distance, that means when my opponent is kind of like, it's the other end of the ring or of the cage, I like to move a little bit like this. It makes me a little bit faster on the feet. But if I'm getting closer into the distance, if I'm getting in the distance where my opponent can kick me, or strike me, I wanna point my knee forward. If I'm outside the distance or if you're just boxing or even in MMA, it's totally fine. If you have the knee slightly pointing to the inside, block a kick, but I want the knee pointing forward. So but I can block, block, okay. So all starting with the jab. When I'm throwing the jab, um, I want to hit my, um, the hand is the, move, is the first, no, the pop. I step and I punch at the same time. Here. I step and I want to keep the elbow as long as possible pointing down. Don't do it like this. Don't let the, um, the elbow lead the punch. Bop. It's not like I'm lifting and falling. No. The foot is moving. Goes forward. And I'm placing um, my, my body weight a little bit more on the front of the foot. So I don't don't want to be like that, like that. Ah. Up. I'm going to be fast on the feet, but the foot is moving first. There, there's a, a little bit like confusion. Some people mixing it up, even when they're starting to punch, they're starting um, to lifting up the foot and falling in. They're doing a little bit like a falling step. Sometimes it makes sense, but when you're just trying to jab your opponent, pop. It has to be fast. 
if you're doing it like lifting up and falling, like if you're doing it like this and this leg is pushing me forward, losing time, it's not very beneficial to jab your opponent. So I'm here, a jab, going back, a step in with a jab, going back. So first, just one minute, you move around, have your hands up, and step and jab, you move, step and jab. So I do a step forward and go back into my fighting stance, pop, I put the foot back, pop, pop, pop. Move around and start to jab, move around and jab, step and jab. If it's all too easy for you, you can also change to source bar. Or if you're a source bar, you can change to all stops. You know, so just look around, step, jab. If it's too easy, with the other side. Move around, nice and easy on the foot, pop and jab. Very important, keep your chin down, pop. Don't do it like, like this, uh-uh, pop. My chin is next to my shoulder. I like to overturn the hand a little bit in the end of the moment, of, of the movement. It helps me to bring my shoulder up. 10 more seconds. Walk around. Okay. So, standing here, stepping in, I jab, takes out the foot with me. And now, I'm throwing an elbow with my, um, the same hand which done the jab, the same side is doing an elbow. Are you doing a 45 degree elbow first? Up. In this time, you can lift the foot and a little bit like fall in, makes the elbow a little bit more powerful. But very important, especially when you're throwing elbows, one hand has to stay up. It's kind of like a law of nature in Muay Thai. When you start to throw elbows, elbows will come back. Okay, so it's very important, especially if you're playing with elbows, that you're having a, a solid guard. The second attack is an elbow. Jab, elbow. When I elbow, this hand is stiff. I don't do it like this now. Do this like here, boom, and use my shoulder. Chest. So, jab. Elbow, move, 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 jab, elbow, and guard up again, jab, elbow, nice and easy on the feet, jab, elbow, okay, so we're done, 45 degree elbow, next elbow is um, from uh, 6 to 12, it's like, a also here, my hand is, by stretching my fingers, like using my shoulder, putting my shoulder in the elbow. Pop. Very important, chin down. Don't do it like this, uh-uh, not good. Bang. So you're standing here, you jab, elbow, and back again. Guard, guard, guard. Move a little bit, jab, elbow. Move. Jab, elbow. Move a little bit around. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. 10 more seconds of these. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Okay. Elbow number three is a little bit. Um, um, I don't want to say weird, but you don't see it so often because the elbow, which usually people, um, it's quite useful in the clinch. But I had also success to do it when I'm stepping in. So I'm going with a jab in, and now this elbow, is, I use my shoulder, but 
and it goes a little bit in that direction. Up. I step a little bit here, and this elbow comes out of the shoulder. The other elbow, what, what we done before, it was from six to 12. This one was going, the first one was, uh, the second one was going up. That one is, bop. it's always like an elbow, like a thrust. You know, I want to direct the energy into, boop. So, let's do it one minute. Jab, elbow, hands up again. Jab, elbow, hands up again. Jab, elbow, move a little bit. Jab, elbow, jab, elbow, jab, elbow, jab, elbow, jab, elbow. Move, 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 move. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Okay. So. Jab, step, and now comes the elbow. Rear side, now. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. And hands up. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Goes 45 degrees. Pop, pop. Jab, elbow. And very after the elbow, hands up again. Okay. Jab, elbow, jab, elbow, jab, elbow, jab, elbow. Okay, I also can do this is 12 elbow with this side. Jab, elbow, this time I have really to put my shoulders in. I have to move my shoulder about. Bop, bop. Okay, jab, step, elbow. Jab, step, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Move a little bit. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Jab, elbow. Okay, I can also do these. Side elbow with this hand. So, jab, elbow, jab, elbow. <clears throat> really use your shoulders. The energy, bam, comes from the shoulders. Pop, boom, pop, <clears throat> 10 more seconds. <clears throat> Okay. So slowly getting warm. Okay. So now I'm standing here. I throw jab, cross, hook. When I'm throwing the hook, I personally like to hit like this. I hit with the first two, no trying to hit with the first two knuckles. I have a little bit of the rotation here. Other hand is up, protecting my chin with the shoulder. Like I said uh, last week, I have a better feeling, I personally have a better feeling in my hand when I'm making contact because I feel, for me, it feels much better than if I would hit like this. But it's perhaps just a personal, personal thing. But um, I also think it makes sense because I can adjust the distance a little bit better here. I think if I'm throwing a long looping hook, but I can still hit like this without worrying about much about my hand. If I would do a long looping hook, 
I hit like this. I only hit with the spoon. For me, it's not working. There's some really high level good books. They're able to do it with this, but for me, it's not working. So I think there's no right, no wrong. It's just people were texting me and asking me about why this, why not that with the hand. It's, it's, I, I feel my hand, my hand feels much better if I'm hitting like this. So jab, punch, hook, hands up again. Jab, punch, hook. Now I'm stepping in with an elbow again. Very basic combination. Jab, punch, hook, elbow. And also here, you can use a different elbow. You can step here with a cross, and now comes the hook. And now you can do the 45 degree elbow or the 6 to 12. Or you go with that elbow. Whatever elbow you like to do, one minute, jab, cross, hook, elbow. Okay, let's start. One minute. Move around, move around. Jab, cross, hook, elbow. And hands up. Jab, cross, hook, elbow. If you're a little bit advanced, you can also do some blocks in between. <laughs> or you change senses. Whatever you do, don't stand still. Move around. Bop, bop, bop. <clears throat> seconds move 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 very important keep your hand keep your hands closed make your hands like a fist and increase the pace a little bit <clears throat> okay next one jab punch hook knee keep okay Jab, punch, hook, knee, keep, and hands up again. Jab, punch, hook, knee. Jab, punch, hook, knee, and keep. Sometimes when I'm to shadow boxing and um, I don't have any mirror, it helps much if you're having a mirror, if you can see yourself or if you're filming yourself and then you, um, you, you can see your mistakes. But a lot of time when I'm starting to shadow box and um, I have no mirror and I'm just um, filming myself with my telephone, I see that I'm doing a little bit like a mistake. I'm doing, throwing somehow my hands forward, but like the jab goes here, the cross goes there, and the hook is somewhere here. It's not very beneficial. So if you're having the same problem, look for a spot, something, something at a wall. You know what I mean aim for that, so you bring all punches on one point. Okay, so try to move around. Jab, punch, hook, now throw, uppercut. Jab, punch, hook, uppercut. Jab, punch, hook, uppercut. Jab, punch, hook, uppercut, and do it a little bit faster. Now it's, um, ah, we're going to finish in perhaps five or six minutes, so now a little bit time 
for increasing the speed. So jab, punch, hook, and move. Jab, punch, hook, uppercut, move. It also helps, which is kind of like my opponent. So I'm moving here, my opponent standing there. Bop, 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 bop. I'm starting to get the distance, moving in. Okay, or you're starting to defend like the middle of the ring, mean, means you're standing kind of like on one spot and you, you're moving from here. Okay, increase the speed. Jet, punch, hook, uppercut. And move, move, move. Okay, let's repeat from last week. Jet, punch, hook, uppercut, uppercut. So, jet, punch, lead hook, uppercut, and uppercut. Okay, jet, punch, hook, uppercut, uppercut. And move, 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 move. You can also play a little bit with the rhythm, you know, instead of doing it all bop, 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 and having all the same rhythm all the time, you can do bop, 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 bop. Okay? Or you do like two, three punches just for blinding your opponent. It's kind of like a smoke screen. And so, bam! The uppercuts are really for creating damage. It means you're moving around, jab, punch, hook, and ah! move around, around, hands up, hands up. One more minute, one more minute. Jab, punch, hook, ah! and move. Jab, punch, hook, ah! jab, punch, hook, ah! jab, punch, hook, ah! go, go, go. A little bit more. Move around, move around. And if it's too easy, change the source bar. You can also play a little bit around with blocks. Okay. One more minute, just easy shadow boxing. Not too fast, now it's more relaxed. Look for clean technique, do everything with control, nice and easy. It's kind of like cooling down, you know, hands up, block, jab, elbow, whatever you like. Just move it around. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, well, oh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm back online on Thursday, and just send me some messages and tell me what you want to see, what I should do, what I can do better, you know, that was it. Bye.